What is thermal energy? As the total kinetic energy of the particles in an object increases, the object gets warmer. Heat flows from a warmer object to a cooler one. We will look farther into this in this lesson about thermal energy. When you take a baked potato from an oven, the potato has kinetic energy while it is being moved. After you put the potato down, it still has a form of kinetic energy inside it. The atoms that make up the potato are always in motion. Each moving atom has a certain amount of kinetic energy. Thermal energy is the total of all the kinetic and potential energy of the atoms in an object. When any form of matter gets warmer, the kinetic energy of the atoms or molecules that make it up increases, therefore increasing the thermal energy of the object. Thermal energy and phase changes. On Earth, most matter exists as a solid, a liquid, or a gas. A change in thermal energy can lead to a change in phase. When the thermal energy of a substance increases, it part its particles move faster. If the thermal energy of a solid increases enough, it melts into a liquid. The liquid state of a substance always has a higher thermal energy than its solid state. If the liquid continues to gain thermal energy, its particles speed up more. When the particles of a liquid have absorbed enough energy to escape the forces between them, the liquid becomes a gas. The substance has undergone another phase change. Think about ice in the hot sun. Ice is solid and increase in, in thermal energy from the sun will have, make the ice melt into a liquid causing a phase change and if the sun continues to beat on the liquid water it will turn into water vapor, a gas. Temperature is a measure of thermal energy. The temperature of an object is related to the average kinetic energy of all of its particles. Some particles in an object will be faster and therefore hotter than others. As you know, people measure temperature with thermometers. The most familiar kind contains a liquid inside a closed tube. The liquid expands when its temperature increases. The height of the column of the liquid inside the tube shows the temperature. All of you know how to take temperature um, as you have done so in recent lab science labs. Thermal energy can move. If you walk into bright sunshine or get into a hot bath you feel warmer. If you hold an ice cube your hands feel cooler. Thermal energy flows between materials that have different temperatures. Thermal energy naturally flows from warmer substances to cooler ones. When people talk about the flow of thermal energy they often use the word heat. Conduction, convection, and radiation are the three ways that heat moves. We will go into greater detail now in further slides. Conduction is the movement of conduction is the flow of heat between objects that are touching. In conduction, two objects touch and their atoms or, or molecules collide. The faster moving particles in the warmer object transfer some of their kinetic energy to the slower moving particles in the cooler object. The temperature of the warmer object decreases as heat flows from it. The temperature of the cooler one rises as heat flows to it. The heat flows until the objects have the same temperature. If the objects have the same mass and are the same material, the temperature of one goes down by the same amount that the temperature of the other goes up. An example of conduction is when a stove heats a pan by conduction. Conduction can also happen between different parts of the same object. For example, the part of the handle closest to the stove on the pan will also heat up. As the part of the handle gets warmer, its molecules conduct heat to neighboring molecules. The entire handle can become too hot to touch. Convection is another way that heat is transferred. Convection is the transfer of heat by a moving liquid or gas. For example, cool water sinks under warm water in a fish aquarium. The warm water will rise. This creates a circular current called a convection current. So in an aquarium, the heater warms the water next to it by conduction. Currents of warmed water carry heat through the water in the fish tank by convection. So the warm water will rise. Radiation is a third way that heat flows from one object to another. Radiation is the transfer of heat by electromagnetic waves. 
all objects radiate heat and hot objects radiate more than cool ones. The part of the electromagnetic spectrum that is often related to heat is infrared radiation. Other parts of the spectrum can also radiate heat. When an object gives off electromagnetic radiation, its temperature decreases. An example of radiation would be when the sun warms a greenhouse and keeps the heat in to warm the plants. Fill out your note sheet as completely as possible.